my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. We all have the experience of going to the market and buying things for our needs. And we all know the situation and the way people behave in the market. In today's gospel passage, the temple of God is turned into marketplace and doing all kinds of things in the holy place of worship in Jerusalem. If we are meditating and imagining the reality and thinking what all things they were doing in the temple of God, as the Passover of Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found people selling cattle, sheep and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drew all of them out of the temple. Both the sheep and the cattle, he also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show for us doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and will you raise it up three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken. Here we have to see the strong love and zeal of Jesus Christ for his father's house of temple. And we should understand the holiness of the temple. The temple is the dwelling place of God and where people should worship God and love God with all our hearts and with all our soul and with all our might and with all our strength. Instead, the people have forgotten the importance of the temple and the holiness of the place. This is the reason we see Jesus Christ is so angry and sending away everyone from the temple of God. Here, we have to ask a question to ourselves. How is my behavior in the temple of God? In the church, we have to observe the strong silence. We should see God in the church because here we come to encounter with God. That is why. An atmosphere of silence and peace is so important. But how do we often behave before Holy Mass, after Holy Mass? If we sincerely answer to our inner selves, we also sometimes behave like the people of market and behave like money exchangers and business people. If we have behaved like those people, Jesus Christ surely will chase away each one of us from his father's house. If we hear to St. Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians, where he says, We are the temples of the living God. We can meet God not only in the church, but also in ourselves, provided we create in ourselves the necessary rest, peace, holiness. But today, there are so many ways to scatter, get distracted, and get suffer by lots of occupations. With the cleansing of the temple, 
Jesus Christ calls to the attention of each one of us to keep the temple of God holy. Our bodies are the temples of God. We have to keep our bodies holy and clean by repenting and confessing our sins. And we should observe and keep the Ten Commandments of God and keep the day of Sabbath as holy to the Lord God. At present, we have time for everything and even weekends, we are trying to be busy with our own works, neglecting to keep the holy day of Lord God. That is why readings of the day and the season of Lent reminds to clean up, make areas of our life in and outside of ourselves free for God. What leads each one of us to get away from God? What is pushing each one of us to neglect God? What makes each one of us to lose the sight of God? What prevents me from each from approaching God? And what prevents each one of us from approaching God? Our faith should be strong in God, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Our bodies should be free from sinfulness and our bodies we should make the temples of God so that God will come and dwell in our bodies and in our hearts. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as we are in the season of Lent, we have seen Jesus Christ cleansing the temple by sending away everyone who are doing wrong because his father's house is holy and place for worship. Let us all with our families give importance for God's temple so that God will surely Bless each one of us. Bless every one of us. Our bodies are the temples of the living God. Let us take this time to worship God, to praise God, and to keep our bodies holy and pure and sinless. May God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.